Pick up your dog tags and pass them all around. Welcome to High Structure. Don't let dogs This is the first phase of our program. The program at Bill Johnson Correctional Center is unlike any other within the Department of Corrections. And Oklahoma's judicial community has come to tour this prison in Alva to learn more about regimented treatment and more importantly, to see the merit of sentencing options for low risk and first time offenders. If your main treatment is not drug and alcohol, we will put you in other classes and treat the need. Inmates sentenced to Bill Johnson leave with a minimum high school diploma. These men can also take career tech classes to learn a valuable trade like carpentry and masonry. It just gives you things to learn when you go out into the real world so you can get a good job and stuff like that instead of going and selling drugs. So it's something new that I'm learning. You learned your lesson? Yes, yeah, sir. Staff also model positive behavior in this paramilitary environment. We teach them how to address staff, how to respect themselves. Um, we also teach them teamwork drills. As much as they believe it or not, we emphasize on, on core values and high structures, and we teach that to them every day. You are expected to be out of your bunk, fully dressed, and, and taking care of business. Shirts tucked in, well-groomed, and that is the expectation here. This unique program also offers evidence-based drug and alcohol treatment from qualified staff to promote recovery. Not a lot of people know what we do or have heard about what we do, but it's important because we have some significant accomplishments that we have done in our time here. Go up! Since 2018, less than 1% have reoffended and recidivated and came back into prison. That's pretty darn good. That is really good, yes. <laughs> it's something that we're very proud of. Bill Johnson has also tallied long-term success. Prison figures show 1,692 inmates received treatment from 2015 to 2018. 86% have triumphed on the outside. There is confidence. As more Oklahoma judges and DAs see the value of alternative sentencing, more offenders will discover the motivation and commitment they need to stay on the right path.